Hello, and thank you so much for coming to my lightning talk on feedback and open textbooks. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to talk about how I tested different kinds of feedback at different placements in the text in order to see which kind is most effective. If you have any questions or comments about this presentation, I would love to hear from you. My contact information is in the bottom left. If you're interested in my research, I encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms and my usernames are there too. So some background on why I decided to conduct this study. So we know from multiple meta-analyses that are cited here that generally speaking, reading from paper seems to be more effective for learning than reading from screens. Students typically read their open textbooks from a digital platform, you know, from a screen of some type. So there's concerns about that. Uh, one proposed solution is, well, let's just ask students to print out their open textbooks or order paper copies. Well, there's still cost involved, even though it's a lot, lot less expensive than a commercial textbook. And in a study I conducted with my colleagues a few years ago, we found that only two students out of about 140 students actually printed out their paper textbook when we intentionally told a third of them to print it out. So thinking about paper versus screens, there are certain benefits with screens that you just can't get with paper. And when we do this simple comparison, we're not thinking about those interactive features, those uh, what we call affordances of screens, things you can do with a screen that you can't do with paper. And one of those interactive features that's been found to be very helpful is to have review questions with immediate feedback. These review questions help students to check their learning and that feedback lets them know if they're on the right track. So two kinds of feedback you can provide are correct response where the student answers the question and then they're told what the correct response is and elaboration where they're not only told the correct response but they're given an explanation as to why the correct response is correct. We can also have that feedback located in different places. It may be only at the end of the text or it might be segmented in different parts of the text. We really don't know based on the current research what type of feedback, correct response only or elaborative, and where in the text, middle of the text and end or end only is most helpful for learning. Also, what we need to look at is, does it make sense as far as the time it takes? So for example, reading that elaborative feedback can take more time. Do we see proportionally more learning gains because of that? Having your reading interrupted by answering questions in the middle of the text may take more time, but do we see big enough learning gains to make that time well spent? So here's an example of a review question. So students in all conditions would see a review question such as this and then answer it. If they were in the correct response only condition, this is the feedback they would get, the correct answer. Um, if they answered it correctly, they were also told, yes, that's the correct answer. If they had elaborative feedback as well, then there was an explanation after the statement of what the correct answer is, explaining why that answer is correct. And then this feedback was located either in the middle and the end of the text to segment the reading or the end of the text only. So to give you an idea of the different conditions, there were four different situations the students could have with the text in the study. They could have the placement of the text in the middle of the end or the end only, and the feedback type would be correct response only or correct response with elaborative feedback. So you can see the four different combinations in this table. This is how the study was conducted. I recruited 390 students who participated over what's called a prolific platform. It's an online participant recruitment and incentive platform. They first had a pretest of psychology knowledge, just to get an idea of what their background knowledge is. Then they read their textbook expert on uh, from a psychology textbook, specifically focusing on classical conditioning and answer review questions. They then had their learning assessed and reported demographics. As they were reading the textbook excerpt, 
they had the reading time recorded. So I was able to look at time on task and understand proportionally how effective was that time on task in terms of the number correct they got on the learning assessment. And here are the findings. So post-test accuracy is the number correct they got on the learning assessment out of 10. And efficiency is the number of seconds it took to answer a question correctly. What we wanna see is post-test accuracy to be higher because that indicates more learning. And we want to see efficiency to be lower because that indicates faster learning. And when we look at all of this together, I found that the most effective condition based on the statistical analyses I conducted was to have the review questions at the end of the text only and to have elaboration, not just correct response feedback. You can see both that this is the highest number in terms of the number correct, and this is the fastest time in terms of seconds per correct answer, indicating that both learning and efficiency were optimal for this situation of feedback, end of text only with elaboration. So what are some tech take home points? Well, review questions with correct feedback and an explanation for why the answer is correct at the end of the text appears to be best for both learning the content and for efficiency in terms of time. Uh, this might be very helpful for instructors to use uh, with their OER. There are tools such as H5P where you can put in plugins and have students be able to answer questions. So I hope you found this presentation helpful. I'm happy to hear any questions. I am happy to report that this article is now in press in Computers and Education Open. It's an open access journal and you can use the QR code to scan it and access a copy uh, or you can go to the journal website. Thank you so much for your time and attention.